Are you alive in there? I'm just curious. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so very much for joining me today. The latest episode of Judge Judy on is in the background, so if you really want to listen to that, you certainly may. <laughs> Look at the cat dragged in. <clears throat> Today's the 17th. I used to get my bag around the 5th or the 6th of the month. 17th. Past few times, every time I get an email saying it's shipped, then it says it's delayed. So anyway, it is here. I am happy, and I'm going to open it because I like this bag. And I have some coffee to get me through the video because we have to do our advent calendars too. So there. So I'm pulling out, well, there's something outside the bag. Let's see. Oh, pretty. This is pretty. This, I can tell by the rhinestones. This is an SL Miss Glam brush. I have two or three of her eye brushes that I've actually received. Oh, look, I'm opening a lunch bag in these boxes before. This is really pretty. This, I think, would make a really nice highlighting brush. It's like, I think, the perfect size for that. So, and it's soft like a kitten. So I am very excited about that. She, aesthetically, she does do some beautiful brushes and I do enjoy the quality of them. I think they're slightly pricey. I'm gonna have to check on that, but I like it. So yay, that's great. The bag feels different this month because you know I've avoided the spoilers and ooh, how pretty this is. Something's trying to jump out of the bag. This is very pretty. The front is a gold sequin bag. I wonder if it's one of those that, no, it's not. It's, I thought it was one of those that you could like change the front of it, you know, by moving the sequins, but you cannot. And that's, this really wants to come out of the bag. Are you alive in there? I'm just curious. <laughs> the back is a pebbled faux leather with Ipsy written on the bottom. And it has that same faux pebbled leather. This item is coming out first because it's really trying to escape on the tassel. All right, little guy, you can come out now and play. Aha. Uh -huh. From what I can read through the plastic, which I'm going to open, I thought it was an eyeliner. And I wasn't going to open it because I have a ton at the moment. But it's a brow definer. And that's interesting to me. So what company is this? Sugar? It's called the Arch Arrival Brow Definer in Taupe Tom. Interesting. Okay. I've seen this shape before. It is that triangle shape. And let's see. Okay, I think, uh, here's the problem. Do, do you see anything? I'm not, I'm not like being over dramatic. This is actually scratching my hand and you're getting a little bit of color. Maybe you have to warm it up. I'm pressing so hard on my hand. I just made welts. I'm going to wipe this off so you can see the redness that I created. Can you see the redness on my hand there? That's from this. Uh, okay. Um, I'll give that a shot on my eyebrows, maybe. Yeah, hold on. I wiped off the rest of the brown. Those marks are from the scratchiness of this. Just throwing that out there. So that's interesting. I guess it really wanted to escape. I don't know what for. <laughs> Let's pull out the card. It says, be merry, be bright, be bold, be you. Can I read this? Check inside for our holiday gift to you. A bonus sixth glam product. So that's nice. They're giving us six products this month. Cool. I don't know what the extra six product is, but that's okay. So, so far we've got two products. The next one is, ooh, another very pretty brush. Who are you by? This is by that company, Farrah. We received the tweezers from them last time. It's very pretty. It's a gold. It does have a kind of grip here. It's an awkward grip, albeit, um, because it's not just on one side. It's, it's kind of like pinched in here. So that's interesting but the bristles are very soft. It's very big. So I don't know whether I just use this 
I don't know what I would use it for. It's very, very light. Uh, I mean, it's it's feather, feather light. Just wanted to let you know that. Okay, cool. The next thing is foiled again. And it's from the Balm. Do you know I do not have any Balm products? Isn't that interesting? I believe this is an eyeshadow, and it's a beautiful eyeshadow. Very soft. It's called Red Handed. Wow, that is absolutely stunning. They're very, very creamy. I've never tried the Balm shadows. And I just wanted to like blend this out of my hand. Look at how pretty that is. And this is totally like one of my wearable colors. So that's really awesome. The next thing is from Grace and Stella. It says, meet Mud, your skin's new best friend. So I'm assuming that this is a mask and it's a dead sea mask. Very, very cool. This has almost that metal but squishy packaging. It almost sounds slightly liquidy. I wonder if it's safety sealed. Yes, it is, so I'm not going to open it, but that's pretty cool. I've never tried the brand, but you can't go wrong with a mask, you know what I mean? And the last thing in here is a standard for a lot of our bags. It is the Pore Fashional Pore Primer from Benefit. It is a rather small sample. I'm not going to take it out because I am going to put this into a giveaway for you guys. So... The bag is stunning. This is one that I'm absolutely going to keep. I normally pass along a lot of my bags or I will include them in when I put my giveaways together and things like that. But I really like this. I wish it was the one of the ones that you could change the color, but that's okay that it's not. It's very, very pretty. The two brushes I'm absolutely thrilled about. Um, I love, love getting brushes in my bags. This Foiled Again shadow is absolutely stunning. Again, I cannot wait to play with that. This brow product, um, I'm going to try it again on my hand. One more time. Let's, let's give myself some more welts on my hands, shall we? With the type of pressure that I would use to apply my brow products... I mean, I really have to press hard. Okay. Maybe it's warming up a little bit because this time I got a lot more color with a little bit less pressure. I'm still having to press hard, though. I can't obviously give an accurate opinion until I try this on my eyebrows, so I will definitely do that and give you my updated thoughts on it for sure. And then, of course, we got the mask, so I am happy about that as well. So overall, remember, Ipsy is a $10 a month subscription where you get five normally, except they gave us a present this month and gave us six. You get sample products, sometimes full size, as in either lashes or the brush and things like that. I happen to love it. I get to try new and different brands that I haven't tried before. Sometimes you get a dud and that's going to happen. It's, it's life. <laughs> it just happens. So aside from it being late, which kind of bothered me uh, and I, I don't understand it, I did email Ipsy to ask why they're becoming late. That was five days ago and I have not gotten a response. Uh, that's okay as well. I can keep you updated as to whether I actually do get a response from them. But I said, overall, I love this bag. It's $10. I got some cool stuff. I got some two brushes, which are wealth, wealth, worth well more than the 10 bucks. So I am super happy. Let me know if you get Ipsy. And I know we all get lots of different bags sometimes in the products in them. So I would love to hear what you guys got. And yeah, that's it. Let's do our advent calendars. If you wanted to just see the Ipsy, thank you for stopping by. It means the world to me. And if you would like me and you want to subscribe, that would mean the world to me too. <laughs> I leave that up to you. If not, let's move on to our advent calendars. Let's do the big boy first. I don't even know what day I'm up to because I'm a little behind. I did 13, I did 15. Today's the 17th, so I did not do 16, and I didn't do 17. So 16 is over here. Let's see what's in 16. I can never get the products out, though. What are you? All right. 
This is by Doll10. I have heard of Doll10 before, but I just don't know what it is. It is a cream blush. Very, very pretty color. I love that color. I am not going to swatch it because I am not a cream blush type of person. I'm either going to give this to my mom or put it in a giveaway. So you can see I did not swatch it. I wish I didn't take the plastic off of it. But, I mean, it looks like a beautiful a color, and I'm happy to have it. I'm just not a cream blush, I was going to say. I don't know what I was going to say. I'm just not a cream blush type of person. So, hopefully somebody else will enjoy this. And now we're up to 17. 17 is down here. Gotta admit, the sizes of stuff that we're getting in here is fabulous. And this is James Reed. I haven't heard of them before. It's Gradual Tan Sleep Mask Tan Face. Sleep Mask Tan... It does say Sleep Mask Tan Face. So this must be a facial tanner that you wear while you sleep. That's interesting. I'm down for trying it, that's for sure. I like it. Cool. That's new one for me. Okay, so in this one, our... What is this? This is Ulta Beauty. We've gotten three pencil products. Now I have to go into number four. Where is number four? Because it's written out. Number four is another wedge. <laughs> it wants to take a bet that it's another pencil product. Just curious. <laughs> it's it's not. Oh my goodness gracious. Ooh, it's beautiful. It is actually one of their gel bounce eyeshadows in no color because it does not give a color. I'm wondering if they create these items specifically for here, but wow, look at that gorgeous purpley shifty color. Extremely soft. It's actually a purpley bronze. And ironically, those two colors would actually go very nicely together. I can't tell if it has a shift to it, but that's a beautiful color. And I'm anxious to try that. I never tried their, you know, I love their eyeshadows, but I've never tried their gel bounce eyeshadows before. So finally, not another <laughs> a pencil type of product. So that's really cool. So that was number four. I like how they did that. They kind of tucked it in there. Isn't that cute? It's the simple things that amuse me. Number five is also a wedge. All right, let's see. It's not jingling around. And it's another type of pan product that is tucked in here. This is a shimmer blush. Now, I don't know how I feel about shimmer blushes. I am going to swatch her because it looks like it could almost be a highlight for me because of the peachy color that it is. Again, extremely soft and I ran out of hands. Well, I didn't run out of hands. See if you can see that. This might actually work as a highlighter for me because it's a beautiful peach. I mean, it's soft and it's pretty. I just don't normally wear shimmery blushes because I don't want them to accentuate anything that I don't want accentuated. I only like my highlighter up here. I'm happy to have it. I think it's beautiful and yay. That is it, my friends. That was my Ipsy. If you stuck around for my advent calendars, thank you. I really appreciate that. And I hope you're all having an amazing day and an amazing week. It is, it's December 17th. Who else is feeling the stress? I am. But I hope you all are well. It's almost Christmas time. And I will see you guys maybe tomorrow. We'll see what happens. Much love, everybody. Bye.